on everybody? Welcome back to another 50 state fishing tour episode. It's a little loud out here, but we are currently on our way from West Virginia to Ohio. We're gonna be fishing Salt Fork, hopefully for some musky and bass. So I'm actually meeting up with another YouTuber. His name is Tight Lines TV. I'm gonna leave him linked down in the description below. Make sure you guys go check him out. We're gonna meet up with him at Salt Fork. He's actually bringing some musky gear for us because I'm a huge idiot and I left my bait box in Mark's boat when we were in Kentucky fishing at Cave Run. So, yeah. I'm gonna finish filling up the van. We're gonna hit the road. I think we're like 30 minutes from the lake right now. I'm gonna continue doing some editing and then hopefully we'll be able to get on some musky and bass for you guys today. I'm pretty stoked. The weather doesn't look great, but hopefully it'll hold out for us. What you got, James? Alright, we just got here to Salt Fork, and this is Jordan from Tight Lines TV. What's going, going on, guys? <laughs> fishing with us today, like I told you guys, but check this out. This fancy little guy here. I just went out to talk to Jordan real quick, and I turned around and looked at the van, and I was like, that front left tire is completely flat, and I hear it leaking, actually, right? Well, that's something we'll fix probably first, I guess. Dude, that is strange. Well, that's the first issue we've had the whole trip, really, so 9,000 miles, I'm pretty, pretty okay with it. <laughs> Just hit or miss, so we'll see what happens. James is out there fixing the tire right now. I'm pumping out an edit. It's perfect teamwork. He doesn't watch these videos, but gotta let you guys know how much I appreciate the kid once in a while. He makes it happen. Yeah. We are out here in Ohio. Where are we fishing? Allen Creek. We are fishing at Allen. I'm just kidding. It's not Allen oh, Creek. I lied. Liar. Salt Fork. <laughs> We're, uh, yeah, I saw the sign when I came in. I I'm swear. Like, I, Allen Creek's the other place. So we are at Salt Fork. I just finished changing the tire while Matt uploaded a video, like the gentleman and scholar that he is. But James's fishing report for today is bumpy with a chance of fish. Uh, we have like, I don't know, as the day goes on, if you can't see the clouds in the background, it's gonna be like 40, 60, 50, 100, 80. It's gonna be a lot of rain today. So we're gonna have some fun out here. We're gonna go for some musky today specifically. Maybe do a little bass fishing as well. Um, temps right now, we're like high 50s. Um, so not too terrible. I mean, if it rains, it rains. Uh, I'm going barefoot in bibs if it does. Wow, that is sideways. Keep, oh, did you not unclip? Did you, uh, you didn't, hold on. Matt didn't unclip it and I didn't unclip it. So I'm just swinging sideways and stepping on your coasters. Anyways, back to your regular scheduled program of James Fishing Report. It is about 60 degrees maybe right now, high 50s. Lots of rain coming our way, but uh, we're gonna get out here. I'm ready to take another shower because I was happy to take a shower yesterday. And what do you know, I'm already ruining it. But this is a good time to do a shout out. We got Mercury, once again, the Mercury Dock Store. Go to um, Mercury Dock Store, I believe the code is TOR20. You get 20% off anything you buy there. Uh, this is a wonderful Mercury shirt. It looks like kind of, it's 50-50. So when you're sweating, changing tires, and about to get on the water, this thing's gonna dry in six minutes, hopefully. I'm gonna do a countdown, we'll see. But they're awesome shirts, awesome gear. They got a lot of good stuff. Sims rain jackets, buffs, um, beautiful 50-50 shirts like this, and uh, Go check them out. They helped us get here. We wouldn't be here without them. Thanks to this beautiful 15 mile or 15 horsepower engine, which gets us pretty good. But we got three people in the boat, so we're only gonna go like seven miles an hour today. But that's awesome. All right, here we go, boys. You're gonna, catch a mu you're gonna try and fish with musky or not catch anything. Gonna exactly, catch I'm gonna catch a musky on this War Eagle spinnerbait. That's how it goes. Oh God, I think this is only four pound test on here too. Really? Super yeah, finesse. that's what we were doing for the trout yesterday. No, I'm just gonna catch it on four pound test. No, uh, no soft plants. Oh, no! Again. I didn't even see that fish. That's crazy. Oh, fish! Crappie. Look at that crappie. There we go. I told you there's big crappie in here. First That's fish in the boat. Look at that slab. 
Nice. Aye, aye, aye. Jordan coming in with the first fish of the day. We're, we're trying to get on a bass before we start this musky bike. Um, it's gonna kind of torture us, I feel like, but it's crazy. There you go. There he is. There we go. No! <laughs> that was a good one, too. Good I don't want to talk about it. Hey, it's okay. They're here, though. This They're definitely on these well, little secondary go. points. The that was um, a two. Two, was, two and a half pounder. I would pounder. go two, two and a half for sure. That was a good looking fish. That one, that one smoked it too. Um, I've been fishing it so much, I want to catch a fish. Here you go, bud. In the boat! Woohoo! Dude. Yes! We got him! Proud of you. This is our musky fish. <laughs> now the real fun begins. Oh, I just want a bass fish. Just kidding. <laughs> Look at that stud. Just kidding. It's not that big, but counts. It's been a tough day, so I'm happy with this. I did dump a fish right at the boat that was probably two and a half pounds twice on that. a Texas rig. Did you say twice that? Oh, twice this. <laughs> yeah, I thought you meant twice, two and a half. But uh, yeah, a little pounder, pound and a quarter maybe. Nothing crazy, but morning dawn, drop shot. Girls like fish the morning dawn. D. Girls love the morning D. See hey, babe. All right, we are back in the creek. We launched that actually at the ramp. James is gonna go take a nap. Sleepy, tired. Just six, I don't know. The past couple days have been rough on me. Rough couple days. And I'm gonna drive tonight, so I'm gonna let these guys go fish for some muskies, and I'm gonna just relax in the van. Are you gonna make me walk? James, you're my you're my good luck charm, though. What am I gonna do? Right, James, you just got your Sayonara, bud. Go. We're gonna go try to catch a musky. Yep. It's kind of cool. I've never thrown one of these. It's like a small little glider. Did you? Ooh, hoo, hoo, a little bit of action. It hit me twice, dude. Did it really? Yeah, like don't. And I was, I thought I hit a log, and then two seconds after it came. You again. felt him. Oh. Dang. Jordan just had a bite. Had a strike on the spinner bait. And oh, oh, oh. I got one right on my bait, dude. He is like swiping all over it. What the hell? Eat it. Come on. Oh my god. He's still on it. He's still on it. I will, I will. He's it's not even close enough to eight yet. I'm gonna just kill it. Hang on. This He's on it, he's on it, he's right there. Come on. And we've been fishing for like five minutes. We worked our way down a bank, and Jordan was saying, before we even got back here, we're looking for like, what'd you say, eight to 12 feet, like to keep the boat in, and then we're yeah, gonna be casting much. shallower up on the flats? Pretty much, Look, basically. Looking for wood, looking right. for trees. Shallow trees. So we get up to the first tree in the spot that he called, and he was like, Fishing the spinner bait through, and he was like, oh, I just got bit for sure, just got bit. And two minutes later, actually two casts later, I had a fish follow this phantom all the way from the bank, and it was doing backflips around it. I was just waiting for it to eat. Let's get him. I am going to catch one on this thing. It's on you, man. <laughs> Damn, I, my GoPro wasn't on, but we just saw a musky porpoise right here. They're, they're here, dude, no doubt. I mean, I don't know what the chances are of them eating when they porpoise like that. Why do they porpoise to digest food, right? I don't. I don't know. Like, <laughs> you would think I would know, but there's a lot coming up for air. Um, there we go. There's a question for you guys. Why do muskies porpoise? That's the second muskie I've seen porpoise in here, and then I had two strikes or two follows well actually one strike one follow and you had that one eat the spinner bait so i would definitely say that they're in here here she comes come on bite right before the rain oh i thought i just saw one swipe on i could be wrong though oh no he's behind it he's behind it
Got him. Oh, hey, right here. Get in that bag, baby. Oh no, he's out. He's out. He's out. Yeah. yeah. Hell buddy, yeah, man. Go. That was so okay. sick. Of course, a big fish like you get a little squeak, but I love it, dude. Here. I'm stoked, man. Hell oh, yeah! Dude, that net shot, no. <laughs> Did you, no, he was in, and he was like, out, "Screw dude. that! I'm out of here." All right, my friends, there we go. Ohio musky, second musky of the 50 state fishing tour. So lucky. We've only been fishing for him for like an hour. We've had so much action too. It's a little guy, but I mean. I don't care. I love catching muskie. And it was such an aggressive eat, too. It was sick. On the phantom glider. Butterscotch. Butterscotch, baby. Butterscotch. Jordan called this fish, actually. Super feisty. Jumped in and out of the net like twice, so. Get out of here, buddy. <laughs> Dude. It's Thank gonna you. rain hard for a little bit, I think. I couldn't get the other tail to work so we're going with this a little bit darker pattern do you know the name of this pattern do you know the name of this color no, no? it's kind of similar in a sense just a lot more black to it post front bite it's gone let's get them let's get over to that fish this rough wall time is at 6 30 so I mean, it's probably gonna start get. I don't have lights on the for the boat, so also we got to be back by like probably eight. I don't know. My the call's been okay today, so let's keep riding. Oh, I agree, a hundred percent. All right, we moved across the lake a little bit to another spot, another really similar kind of deal. It's just like shallow flat in a cove. Definitely lighter wind over here because where we were, the wind picked up like crazy. Yo, you called it, yeah. No, this is fine. I think we'll be, we'll be money. I think we're gonna, we'll see one here. Oh, I just got whacked. Yes, whacked. Absolutely whacked. Dude, unless there is a giant stump up there that I don't see, something just stopped this bait. Go ahead. Actually, you know what? I think I see the stump that I hit. <laughs> I think. I think that might have been my bait just going. Oh, you got him. He was on you. He was on you. He was on you. Yeah, no, that was a fish. That was a fish. He was, dude, he definitely hit my bait too. That's nuts. He he stayed back too, cause when I brought mine into the eight, he wasn't there. I he went left. Yeah. Since we came across to fish this area that's pretty similar to where we moved a bunch of fish, I got crushed on the butterscotch. And I've been fishing it without a tail. I just said, screw it. Swims just as well. But immediately after I had that bite and I was like not 100% sure if it was a bite or not. And then I thought I saw a stump in the water where I casted. The same cast, Jordan had what we're assuming is that fish follow it into the boat, cut off. It wasn't anything big, but still another fish. We've only been out for two and a half hours and plenty of action plenty of action but anyways I was just being nosy and digging around all of his baits this line through trout is absolutely ridiculous and he's thrown it around a bit and there are some gigantic teeth marks in this beast I was thinking about it for a little bit but next time do you think they need it right now got away with it but honestly you just need the right setup for that bait yeah you don't have like a like a solid heavy heavy duty rod you're gonna blow your shoulder out fishing that bait uh, i have an eight foot six super heavy that i use with that rod and my shoulder still you can get like maybe 10 casts out of it before you're like oh my god so, i got you because it weighs but, a pound uh, right yeah so in the in in the fall when you're fishing heavy weeds and you don't have to make long casts you kind of toss it around the fish are a little more consistent that's a good go-to bait hopefully we can get one more in the boat it's been a really good day Really good day. I kind of feel like I should have been musky fishing all day now. <laughs> Dude, let's go back and try to get that big fish. Yeah, I mean, it's only- I told you 10 minutes, so yeah, let's go. We'll right, we're gonna run back to the original spot. I just had, I just was like, let's do it. Let's go get it. Let's go try to move the big one hey, one more time. I had a decent we got like 20 minutes, one pass. Let's get another one in the boat. She's gonna eat this time. I can feel it. I can feel it, dude. These fish actually have been 
following this bait and eating this bait when I'm working it pretty quick today. Yeah, that's why I'm confident with this spinner. If you're, oh yeah. If you're cooking that. Dude, they should definitely eat that. I mean, it did. It did eat that. Come on, Jordan, get the big one. I do want to get this big fish, man. Yes, I, I think we're gonna catch her. That's the that's the thought in my brain right now. We're gonna catch her. Just getting in the bag. It's on the left side of the bush. You caught the fish right in front of this log. I know if I hit a branch or a twig or anything right now, I'm gonna <laughs> freak out. Oh, got him, got him, got him. Oh. Yeah! Hell yeah! Ready? Come on. Ready? Bring her up here. We're gonna get in that baby. Bring her up. Come on. Feather Ready? You got a feather. Yeah, she's good. Bit in the damn night. Well, there we go. Let's go, baby! As you just called it! <laughs> Let's go, dude! You oh, your hat. No, oh, great. Oh, your hat. We had like a. I'm gonna go. Dude, that's her. No. Gotcha. Boys. Dude. We literally came back to the spot <laughs> for this fish, fish and got so lucky and got her. I can't even tell you how stoked I am right now. This fish is, um, what do you think, 40 inches, 38? I'm gonna say 38. 38? Caught a lot of 38s. But it's fat, it's full, and it's just a beautiful fish. What a way to end the day off here in Ohio. Thanks to Jordan for bringing us out here. Just had a great time, showed us some good fish. We're gonna let her go. Third fish of the trip. I'm <laughs> stoked. I'm shaking. Go back to that bush. She's ready. Oh, baby. Two muskies in four hours. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are that musky fish are like, yeah, that's a pretty decent day. For me, I'm like on cloud nine. That's so sick. We like kind of called shots. He obviously like just knew where the fish were gonna be, which is sick. Just a great afternoon, you know. We struggled so hard this morning trying to find some bass. I was like, well, at least we got one in Ohio. And then we come out and see six muskie and catch two. And still have probably 15 minutes to fish. So still. Didn't catch any striper yesterday, but we did catch some musky and some bass. It was a lot of fun out on Salt Fork. The musky bite was really hot and a lot of fun. There was a lot of action in like three hours. Huge thanks to Jordan from Tight Lines TV for taking us out. It was a good time, really appreciate all the help, appreciate the net and the musky baits. So today we are heading to Indiana. We're gonna be fishing there tomorrow. It was actually raining all day long in like a high of 45. So after fishing all day in the rain yesterday, James and I decided that was definitely gonna be a no-go for us because it just sucks fishing in the rain and filming in the rain, especially when it's that cold. And on top of that, we don't really wanna get sick. So one day is pretty good, two days don't want to play with fire or a cold, should I say. But check this sign out James just put up. Pretty solid. I think the van's coming together nice. It's gonna be just like a good old fashioned fishing machine. Nice to put it back in order since it was a mess. Oh yeah, it was We should have done it before. It was, yeah, I know. We should have done it like, when we were on our break. But just picture tornadoes in Kansas. That's pretty much what the van looked like. But it's coming together, we're cleaning it up, just kind of taking a day off. Got to do a lot of editing, answering emails, clean the van, 
and then we're gonna start heading towards Indiana. If you guys wanna check out anything from the dock store from Mercury, they are hooking us up to share with you guys a 20% off discount code. I'm gonna leave that linked down in the description below, and that code is TOR20. It'll get you 20% off of anything on the dock store. So go check it out, and that's where we're gonna leave you guys off. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me if you're not already subscribed. We'll see you in Indiana tomorrow. Yeah! P.S. If you guys don't hear from me again, the Caps are playing tonight, and uh, if we lose tonight, we'll be down three to two. So if let me get some better lights so you can. If oh my god, it's so much better. If you don't hear from me again, it's because Caps are losing. Um, hopefully uh, we come out strong here, because I can't. My little heart cannot take.